So let's begin now. So I'd like you to just focus in your mind on all of the blessings of the Lord that you'd like to receive, whether they're health blessings or emotional blessings or personal blessings on your life. You know all of the areas that you'd like to feel God's hand blessing you in an even greater way than you've ever been able to experience so far. I'd like you to hold those pictures of what you'd like to have God do in your life as we begin to pray together. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, for your love, your goodness, your kindness and compassion, your mercy and grace. I know, Lord, that you so love this precious child of God that I'm praying with today, who you created in your image as you did all of us. You created us to be blessed and to experience giftings from you that are so special and so precious because they are the giftings that you gave us, giftings that you created us to have before we were even born. And I'm going to be praying today, Lord God, into the life of my friend here so that you can heap them with even more blessings and more of your love. I'd like you to take just a few deep breaths as we pray because this is how God created life in the book of Genesis. And in taking deep, peaceful, full breaths, we begin to get in touch with the incredible blessing and miracle of life itself that God has given us. So just take some deep breaths and get into a relaxed place and let everything that's been on your mind that isn't of the Lord and isn't of everything that you'd like to see Him create in your life, just begin to fall away. Just let it go. Anything that isn't of the Lord, mind talk, thoughts that aren't of the most positive and incredibly perfected in the Lord, thoughts and feelings, just let them fall away because they are not of the Lord. And Lord God, I just want to pray out the enemy in anywhere and any place that the enemy has attacked my friend. Whether the enemy has created a level of poor health and and health-related issues that this child of yours is struggling against, whether your child is taking medications that aren't effective and that are creating side effects, Lord. We want all of this to be healed in you. Whether this precious child that you created is experiencing thoughts and feelings and beliefs that are destructive, destructive to health, to wellness, to the beautiful life, We just want to get rid of those two in the name of Jesus. In any struggles or challenges, it's time that these be healed. So I ask you, Lord God, to just crush the enemy that comes to kill and steal and destroy and create limitations and difficulties and challenges and hopelessness in any area, Lord, whether it's a health challenge a mind challenge, mental problems, emotional problems, lifestyle issues, Lord, related to relationships, finances, job, career, housing, cars, addictions, Lord, any number of things that the enemy can cause. I just come against this in the name of Jesus, and I ask that the enemy be crushed, 
crushed and destroyed, completely eliminated from this child's life. And I ask, Lord, that the enemy just leave now and be given totally back to you for you to dispose of, for you to get rid of, never to bother my friend again. And I ask, Lord, that your protection and your grace and your mercy be given to my friend and that your goodness and your protection be with my friend always, all the time, so that only you, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and your precious loving healing angels can be with this child of the Lord. And anything that is evil and not of you, Lord, is gone in the name of Jesus. And I crush any family pattern. I crush any generational curses. So many of us bring in generational curses. And in the medical field, we call this taking your medical history. We're always asking you, tell me, Does anybody in your family have a history of heart disease at a young age, or diabetes, or cancer, or mental illness, or any other variety of of issues? And often we do see a pass down. I see this so often in people that I pray for, that there is a pass down from the enemy that goes from generation to generation unstopping, unyielding, Lord. And I want to pray for my friend that this is the end, that these generational curses, whatever they are, are going to stop right now so there's no more passed down to their children and their children's children. We want complete freedom from these family and generational curses because they are not of you. They are not of the Lord. They never were of you. They didn't come in through you. And people just don't realize. They just take it for granted that this was in my family and it will always be in my family. Whether it's depression or worry or anxiety or abusive behavior or addictions or abandonment or rejection or any sort of illness, high blood pressure, hypertension, heart disease, digestive problems, cancers, autoimmune disease, thyroid disease. It's so common to see these conditions and many others passed down. And I come against them in the name of Jesus so that you are free, so that this is no longer going to be an aspect of your life an aspect of your life that should not be there, that is not of God. And Lord God, I just ask that that this friend, this child of yours, be freed from the past, be freed from all that the enemy has done in terms of reinforcing past behavior, past experiences. All of the past is stored in the hippocampus, which is a part of our brain, in the memory circuits of our brain. And often these memories are not of you. They're not pleasant. They're not happy. They're a negative frame of reference that we keep being drawn back to, drawn back to. And in the scripture, Lord, you don't want us to live in the past. You want us to live in you, in your safety, in your goodness, in the presence of the Lord in the future, the future that only you should be creating in our lives. So Lord God, I just want to pray against all negative memories that my friend here is carrying and that all of these evil negative memories just be completely healed in the name of Jesus. Because again, Lord, these are not of you. We do not ever want to go back to the past. The past is the past, and anything that was held in the past that we do not want to bring into the current life that we have and into the future, it's time to let it go. And I command 
that your mind be uplifted in the Lord. And in being uplifted in the Lord, you will no longer be speaking about the past or thinking about the past. Wherever it was negative, wherever it was hurtful, wherever it was harmful, that you be cleansed like a white board, erased, the past erased, and that you go forward from here, taming your own mind. If you find that the past, the negative issues of the past, are trying to creep up again, that you just let it go, you command it leave in the name of Jesus, and that you never again have these be conversational topics with your friends, with your family, that you go forward into the present, having thoughts and feelings and conversations with that are life-affirming, positive, creating all that you want to create, focused on the Lord and His goodness. And Lord God, I want to begin to pray also into the body and into the mind of your precious friend that you created and my precious friend because I'm praying for you knowing that the Lord loves you more than anything you can ever imagine that God is your friend God is your father God is your precious loving father and I'm going to begin to pray first of all into the part of us that was created in God's image, the mind and the brain and the nervous system. No other creature on the earth has a brain and a mind that God created for us to have. There is no other creature of the earth that has our intelligence, our creativity, our ability to connect and communicate with the Lord, our speech function, our ability to write, our cognitive function. We have so many functions within our brains and minds that the Lord created only for you and only for me that are so special and so beautiful. Our special giftings arise from our brain and our mind whether they're mental gifts, intellectual gifts, or creative gifts. They are all from the Lord, and they all originate, first of all, in our brains and our nervous system. These are our precious parts, and everything is regulated from here. Without our brains and our minds and our nervous systems that are created in God's image, The rest of our body is just flesh. It's flesh that can do nothing. Whether it's our hands or our lungs or our kidneys, without the regulation from our brain, we can do nothing. We have no intelligence and no ability to function with any knowledge or any intention in every part of our body. Even the simplest motion, like bending your finger or your toes, comes from the Lord and comes from that higher part of us, the brain and our nervous system. So it's crucial for health that you be prayed into as a complete being, just the way that God created us. If you have a sore back, It's more than just a sore back. We need to know why your back is sore. Was it sore because of physical stress? Of sitting at the computer for too long? Is it sore because of upset and stress? Every time you're in the presence of a particular person that you find upsetting or distressing, your back goes out, you you experience pain. And pain is regulated through the brain. So we cannot just regulate pain in the most perfect sense by simply praying into that body part. That is what we do in the medical field. We treat you as if you're a part of you. You're a sore back or you're a heart attack or you're a cancer. 
We look at you as if you are a part of yourself. Yet you are a whole, you are a whole person that God created. And I'm going to be praying into you, starting with your brain and nervous system, so that we tie all of this together. I'm not able to pray into every single chemical imbalance that you have, because there are thousands of these, and every person has a different set of imbalances. But I am going to be praying today for balance, and that your whole brain and your whole nervous system be healed and brought into balance. And I've seen in doing these kinds of prayers that the ball gets rolling toward healing. And often people even have healing of those parts of the body, illnesses that we're not even specifically praying for today, but that the Lord knows. The Lord knows that you need this, and the Lord comes and you are healed by the presence of the Lord who is with us as we pray together today. So Lord God, I just want to pray into the brain of my friend. You created us in the most incredible detail, Lord. We have a three-part brain. In the medical field, we call it a tripartite brain. We have a cerebral cortex a frontal brain that is the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, and the occipital lobe. That regulates so many of our higher functions, so much of our cognitive function, our intelligence, even our relationship with you. It's so precious, that part of the brain. We have the limbic brain that regulates our feelings, our thoughts, our memory circuits through the hippocampus, our endocrine glands through the master glands in the brain, the hypothalamus and the pituitary, and the pineal gland that also regulates our sleep. All of our endocrine functions, our hormonal and reproductive functions is regulated here. Our temperature regulation, literally every part of the body, including our immunity, is regulated through the endocrine glands. Especially, Lord, important are the endocrine glands of the brain that we're praying over now. We have a midbrain and a hindbrain, Lord, that are much smaller parts of the brain and that regulate our vital functions that are often below the threshold of our control, our vision, our hearing, our blood pressure, our heart, our breathing, our lungs, many functions that are regulated just through the ability of our brain to control these things at the highest level. And Lord, I just want to uplift the brain and nervous system of my friend to you, that it be filled with the light of your love, Every part of the brain, every one of these three parts, just being healed by you, uplifted, brought into the light of your love, in the name of Jesus. Pain is regulated through the brain. I've never met a person in all of my ministry who has never experienced pain. Whether you are the most devout, devoted Christian, even you have likely suffered loss, loss of loved family members who've passed on, loss of friends who've moved away, loss of, of your own security if you've had to move often or have lost a job or needed to change careers and felt uncertainty around this. Most people have experienced some degree of physical pain whether it's been an injury or a trauma or a chronic illness like fibromyalgia, degenerative arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, frozen shoulder, bursitis, tendinitis, chest pain from asthma, heart-related pain from heart disease, 
headaches. The list just goes on and on and on. Cancer causes pain. It's one of its most common symptoms of why people suffer so much from cancer. Emotional pain. So many people experience the pain of depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, bipolar. Mental illness is rampant. Pain based on lifestyle issues. Pain based on change and lack and need and discord in things occurring in your life. So pain is one of the most common ways that the enemy attacks you. It is so common. If I'm at a conference and I ask, how many people have ever experienced pain? Everyone's hand goes up. So in the name of Jesus, it is very important to be aware that even if you've received prayer, even lots of prayer against pain, that there's still a level of trauma and injury that has occurred to your physical body. Pain is not just mental. God created us as feeling beings and physical beings, as beings that have thoughts and feelings that are linked totally to our physical body. If you've experienced any kind of pain in your life, it's affected the pain centers of the brain. The three very main important centers are called the insular cortex, the anterior cingulate cortex, and the amygdala. And physical pain injures these centers, as does emotional pain. If you've experienced rejection and abandonment, that's very likely harmed the anterior cingulate cortex. If you experience fear and panic and anxiety or any number of other negative emotions and thoughts, they affect these pain centers. They affect the insula, the insular cortex, the amygdala, and the anterior cingulate cortex. They cause trauma and injury to these centers. The Lord created these centers as early warning systems. If a car is coming at you and you're afraid that it's going to run you over, you run away, you jump out of the way. That's an early warning system. If somebody comes at you in a threatening way, you don't stick around, you leave or you call for help. Again, that's an early warning system. But the enemy has so damaged and destroyed what should be an early warning system that in the medical field we call these pain systems, pain centers, because the pain becomes chronic. The pain becomes something that we have to treat with medication to numb the pain or to numb your thoughts and feelings that cause the pain. But did you know that the Lord created the perfect chemicals that will numb the pain, that will relieve pain within your own body? So I want to pray in the name of Jesus for all of the parts of this system in you, no matter what kind of pain you've experienced. I want to pray for the peripheral nervous system where you experience pain in any part of your body. I want to pray blessing and healing on the specialized neurons, the cells that transmit these painful impulses through the spinal cord and up into a part of the brain called the thalamus that's a sensory relay station that sorts and that sorts these impulses and that sends them on to the appropriate place in your brain where these impulses are meant to go, whether it's an auditory, a visual, um, a touch, a taste, whatever it is that the impulse is providing to your brain in terms of the type of pain. I want to heal that center in the name of Jesus, as well as the insula. 
the amygdala, and the anterior cingulate cortex. I want to pray for the hippocampus where all of the memories of this pain are kept and stored, and the endocrine system that has a link to the hippocampus and to the pain centers and can profoundly affect your hormone function, your reproductive function, and all of the functions of the endocrine glands in your body. The thyroid, the thymus, the pancreas, the reproductive glands, the adrenals, they're all affected by pain coming through your body or your mind. I want to pray the perfect chemicals as well as healing of every one of these centers that I've just mentioned. Every one of these centers healed in the name of Jesus, restored, healed to a perfect place, to becoming an early warning system again instead of a chronic place of pain. I pray that the pain be soothed within you and numbed and that the pain just start to diminish whatever the pain is, mental, physical, life-related. And I want to pray in the perfect mix of chemicals that will soothe and numb your pain. I want to pray in chemicals called GABA and serotonin. These are quieting, peaceful chemicals that when you replenish these chemicals, and they're produced in abundance within your brain and your body. Pain is numbed, it's soothed, it calms down. And I want to pray the perfect amount of these chemicals within every part of the pain system so that you just start to feel so soothed and comfortable and eased within the Lord. It's all coming from God. Wherever your pain is, that it be soothed and eased, whether it's in your knee or your shoulder or your chest or your hip or your head, wherever it is, perfect healing in the name of Jesus, restoration. If you're experiencing emotional trauma, emotional imbalances, depression, anxiety, fear, sadness, bipolar, whatever it is, these are also imbalances that occur within your brain and your nervous system. And I want to pray for the perfect balance of chemicals that regulate this. God created you to have a perfect mental and emotional balance so that you are always living in love and the God's peace, the peace of the Lord, the Lord's goodness, joy. Jesus came to give us joy, happiness. They're all gifts from the Lord. And when we're in very excellent, perfect chemical balance, of the chemicals that regulate our mood, we feel good. We move from peace of mind when we're quiet to joy and zest for life and vitality when we're stimulated and we're more excited and joyful. When the enemy is acting in us and harming us, we go out of balance. We go too much toward the side of chemicals that shut us down, quiet us down, and inhibit us. These are called inhibitory neurotransmitters, like serotonin, the whole serotonin pathway, GABA, GABA amino butyric acid. When we're too much inhibitory, we tend to feel tired and depressed and sad and grieving and hopeless, and and we become immobile. Often we can't act. We just sit there knowing we should do something, but we can't muster the energy or the strength to be forceful and to and to crush the enemy in the name of Jesus. 
our metabolism slows down. We become overweight sometimes. Our metabolism becomes sluggish. Maybe you're experiencing low thyroid function or chronic fatigue or overweight. All of these are conditions that we see when we're more inhibited, more shut down. At the other extreme, when we're too over rev, too speeded up, we experience panic or fear or worry or anxiety. And that's when the excitatory chemicals of our brain are dominant. We don't have enough inhibition and we go out of balance toward excitation. These are chemicals like the dopamine pathway, norepinephrine, epinephrine, glutamine. All of these tend to give energy and vitality to our mind and body when they're in balance. But when they're not, we become hyper, over-rev, we might have a rapid heartbeat, um, we might be too thin, losing weight, um, experience loss of muscle mass, bone mass, um, hyper-rev digestive function where we have um, too rapid elimination. At either end of the spectrum, there are health conditions that arise from being out of balance along with the conditions of the mind. And I want to pray in the name of Jesus that you come into a perfect balance between sedation and excitation. Everything healed in the name of Jesus. And that you be completely and perfectly balanced in these chemicals that are the Lord's gift to you. Perfect balance so that your mind goes to a place of perfect peace and joy and happiness and confidence and safety and security in the Lord. Faith and trust in Him, knowing that the Lord is good and that He's with you. Self-confidence, self-esteem, knowing that you are a child of the Most High God and that you have the chemical balance to back this up. I want to pray also into every part of the brain that regulates all of the other functions, whether it's reduction of inflammation, um, perfect balance of all of your vital organs, everything from the pancreas and the heart and the lungs, the kidneys, the adrenal glands, the reproductive glands, everything, the lymph, uh, the, the blood vessels themselves, everything is regulated through the brain. And I pray that you be perfectly balanced from that level so that all of these individual issues are more likely and more readily to come back into a place of health and balance. I pray into your visual cortex and the hearing centers of your brain. Did you know that your eyes and your ears are just specialized organs of the brain? I pray that your sight be healthy. I've seen the Lord heal every kind of visual problem. Glaucoma, cataracts, macular degeneration, blurred vision, um, eye strain. I've seen so many visual problems be healed by the Lord. I've seen the Lord heal deafness, even in the most elderly of people, people in their 80s or 90s. I've seen the Lord restore their hearing. We're never too young or too old to be healed by the Lord. I pray that the Lord heals your nervous system, that the Lord comes into your involuntary or autonomic nervous system so that when you're in fight and flight and you're too overstimulated or you're too slow, just too slowed down, that these two parts of your nervous system come into balance and that you have the perfect balance of neurological function. This part of your brain, the autonomic nervous system, has two divisions the sympathetic nervous system that speeds you up and the parasympathetic nervous system that slows you down. 
and you need both parts working in perfect harmony. For example, if you're doing a marathon, you need that quick burst of energy from the chemicals that the sympathetic nervous system produces and creates. You need that fast jolt of energy. But then, after that quick takeoff, you need sustained energy. You need the parasympathetic function, the slower, sustained, deep energy. So you need both. We need both. They're both crucially important to our health and well-being. Together with the brain, they regulate every function of our body. And I pray blessing and love and life in the name of Jesus. Perfect healing from God's perfect love. And now I want to pray into every part of your body. Lord, I just pray that your love and your light just uplift my friend in the name of Jesus. And wherever their particular physical issues are, Lord, I just pray in the name of Jesus that your love and your light flows into every cell throughout their entire body, every tissue, every organ, just stopping and dwelling on those places where they have a particular need. Whether it's the neck, where we have the cervical vertebrae, the bones of the neck that encase our spinal cord, the carotid arteries that produce and allow blood flow to go from our heart and into the brain, just feeding the brain, our thyroid, our our vocal cords, our voice box, our teeth, all of the things that are in our face and head and then our neck. All of these parts of our face and neck just healed in the name of Jesus. Anything that isn't of you, Lord, even um, problems related to the nerves of the head and neck, um, neuritis, neuralgia, anything that isn't of you, muscle spasms, muscle pain, dental problems, Lord. I've seen you heal dental abscesses and take away pain with prayer where the person had complete relief of pain without ever going to the dentist. The pain just disappeared. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. These are such amazing healings that I've seen you do. And I pray over this in the name of Jesus and anything that my friend needs healing for in the face and the neck. I just pray in the name of Jesus that that be healed. And just moving through the body, Lord, I just ask that the light and the love of you Your rivers of living water just move through the body. Just again, Lord, settling into those places that need extra work. If it's in the shoulders, if there's any frozen shoulder or pain in the shoulders, any discomfort down the arm, carpal tunnel syndrome, pain in the elbow, um, arthritic changes, degenerative or rheumatoid arthritis, Everything healed in the name of Jesus. I pray that the love and the light of of your goodness, Lord, flow in to the chest and the heart and the thymus, which helps to regulate immunity, located also in the chest, down the back of the mid-spine, the thoracic spine. Everything healed. The discs the nerves coming out of the vertebrae, sensory nerves, motor nerves, everything healed in Jesus' name. The intercostal muscles of the ribs, healing of the ribs themselves, Lord, and moving down into the diaphragm, releasing anything in the chest area, heart problems, heart heart disease, arrhythmias, Um, valve disease of the heart, um, coronary heart disease, COPD, emphysema, Lord, asthma, bronchitis, 
pneumonia, everything healed in the chest and the heart in the name of Jesus. Pain in the ribs, wherever it's located, Lord, healed in you. And I pray for healing of all the digestive organs. If there's any digestive problems in this precious child of you, Lord, acid reflux, diabetes, liver disease, hepatitis, um, stomach pain, um, malabsorption, leaky gut syndrome, food allergies, problems with elimination, too fast or too slow, indigestion, anything, Lord, that isn't of you needs to be healed in the name of Jesus, brought into perfect balance and perfect health. Perfect digestion is our birthright, and I pray that that my friend have healed perfect digestion, soothed and eased in the name of Jesus. I pray that the kidneys be healed. Perfect, healthy kidney function, Lord. Healthy adrenal glands. Perfect, healthy adrenal glands. The adrenal regulates so many of our functions. Inflammation, fluid balance. The adrenals produce reproductive hormones. It's an amazing, amazing gland. Um, It even produces chemicals that are similar to those of the sympathetic nervous system. Chemicals that rev us up, that vitalize us, that speed us up. So I pray perfect healing of the adrenals. If the adrenals have been weakened from stress, as so many people's are, I just pray restoration and healing of the adrenals. I pray healing into the bladder and the reproductive glands themselves so that reproductive function of the prostate gland, the uterus, every part of the reproductive system is healed in the name of Jesus so that reproductive function, hormone function, is totally healthy, totally perfected in you, Lord. Menstrual function in women, perfectly regulated by you, Lord. If my friend is in menopause and having menopause-related issues, total healing of any menopause symptoms in Jesus' name. Perfect male function, reproductive function and health. No pain, no enlargement of the thyroid, no urethritis, no prostate cancer, Lord, I come against any and all of these conditions. I pray, Lord, into all of the bones of the low back, the vertebrae, the hip bones, the bones of the pelvis, and the femur, which is the largest bone of our body, that should normally fit perfectly into the joint, the hip joint, the acetabulum of the hip. And if there's any wearing down, grinding away of the cartilage of the hip, I just pray that it be restored in the name of Jesus and any of all pain in the low back, the mid back, the hip, be completely relieved, eliminated, healed in the name of Jesus. I pray that all of the muscles of the leg, um, the quads, the hamstrings, the abductors, the adductors, perfect balance and healing, all of the ligaments and tendons of the leg and throughout the entire body be healed in Jesus' name. I pray into the knees, all of the muscles around the knees, the patella, completely healed, balanced in the name of Jesus, relief of pain. I pray into the lower bones of the leg, the tibia and the fibula, complete healing in the name of Jesus as well as all the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the Achilles tendon, all of the bones of the feet, um, the fascia at the bottom of the foot. There is no part of us that is too small or too insignificant for the Lord. The Lord loves every part of you. And Lord, I just want to pray into the soul of this child of yours. 
the body and the mind and the soul. I pray that your soul be cleansed and uplifted in the Lord, that your soul be washed clean and cleansed of anything that isn't of God, any negativity, any hopelessness or despair around any part of your life, your physical health, your mental health, family issues, um, your finances, your career, any place that feels stalled, that has created damage, not only in the mind, but in your soul itself. I pray it out in the name of Jesus. I pray that your soul be cleansed of all trauma and injury, going back to birth, to pre-birth, to the very earliest time of your formation. I pray that your soul be brought into the light of God's love and that you be blessed in your soul with the Lord's love, joy, and peace of mind. That you be blessed to enjoy the most incredible and perfect life in the Lord. And I pray into every issue in your life that you are struggling with and that you are having challenges with. I pray that you be triumphant in the Lord and that the Lord opens new doors for you, that new opportunities, new solutions, new doors be opened for you, that solutions come that you weren't expecting because they are from the Lord, that you were hoping for relief, that you were hoping for healing, and the Lord, I pray, comes to you, comes into you, and I pray that the Lord heals you, and that often these are not things that we expect, because they are not of us, they are not of the earth, they are of God, and that they are special, they are beautiful, they are the most amazing healings, the most amazing solutions, and that you be uplifted in the Lord and that he take you beyond subsistence. He fills all your needs and creates a place of abundance and prosperity in every part of your life. Financial, financial provision, all of your needs being met, but also every other part of abundance. Abundant friendships, abundant love, abundant good relationship with your family, loving and acceptance of yourself, abundance in all of the things that you enjoy, opportunities to use your gifts, opportunities to pray to the Lord. I pray that you make time each day to come before the Lord in prayer and in worship and praise because that will build your relationship with the Lord. I pray that your whole self be blessed and that you are radiant in the love of the Lord, that he mightily blesses you, that you live in peace, that you live in joy and happiness. And most of all, Lord, I thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen.